So if you want to get uh, that vibe from Sonny Emery, stay tuned. Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Sonny Emery's playing on the song called Juicy in his new project called Full Tilt. But before we get into it, make sure to click the red subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Sonny Emery was born in 1962 in Atlanta, Georgia. He started playing very young at the age of four. <laughs> That's one of those. Um, and clearly he's been playing ever since. He's now uh, 58 years old. So it's a long time playing the drums. <laughs> he got his bachelor's degree from Georgia State University and uh, started playing professionally with Joe Sample and the Crusaders. Now, this is one of those drummers, uh, Sonny Emery, who has played with a gazillion people, the ultimate side man. He's played with the likes of Jean-Luc Ponty, Stanley Clark, Bette Midler, Jennifer Lopez, um, and many, many, many others. So he's well versed to have over 30 years of playing like that. His biggest gig, however, is the great earth, wind, and fire. Yeah. Pocket of the yin yang, this guy. Phenomenal chops. Really musical. Uh, he's also a songwriter, so he has writing credits on movies and various album projects. It's one of those. So today, I want to take a look at two different grooves that he used in a song called Juicy on his new project, Full Tilt, and on that album, Full Tilt, featuring Sonny Emery. So get that record. I'm addicted to it. I've been listening to it for weeks, so I decided to do this lesson on it because, man, his playing is so fantastic. And uh, he's playing in a Latin jazz sort of framework with a real funk bass. So I take apart the A section and the B section. Uh, if you go ahead and join my Patreon page, I also gave some extra footage on a 6-H section where he plays Latin in 6-8, Latin funk in 6-8. So let's get to it. The main groove for letter A in the head section is a rudimental approach to Latin jazz. Now, the thing is, um, it kind of feels like a samba, but it doesn't have any of the traditional elements of samba you normally find on drum set. So, <laughs> however, it does remind me of a song called Sicily by Chick Corea on his, I think it was 1978 or 79 album called Friends. And um, Steve Gadd plays on that one, and he plays this really cool rudimental groove that has a samba-like lilt to it. Uh, and it, it, it sounds like this. Pretty cool. It's basically an inverted Paradiddle. And with that, you add the samba bass drum. Pretty amazing groove, and at full speed, it's, it's pretty brilliant. Um, a good friend of mine named Bob Donaldson, my first roommate at McGill University showed that one to me. He had this uncanny ability to transcribe right in the spot. Ooh, I wish I had that. It's much harder for me. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Um, so the groove in question on uh, this piece, um, it sort of, uh, the way I see it is it combines a variety of grooves, of uh, sorry, rudiments. So the first rudiment is uh, a five-stroke roll, right there. 
five stroke row. And then on the end of two, he adds a paradiddle diddle. So that goes like this. And with that, he puts a accent on the second 16th of that paradiddle diddle, followed by a single stroke roll. So together, it would be And that's basically the groove. Now, I don't really see it that way. I don't really think of it rudimentally like that. I, I sort of feel like there's a, a flow using a double stroke feel to beat two. Then there's a, a pickup on the last 16th of two into the double stroke feel that leads into four and then a sort of a trailed off single stroke. That's sort of how I think of it in my mind. It feels more musical to me and more natural rather than thinking, you know, okay, five stroke, paradiddle, five stroke. It's like, it's like nuts like that. <laughs> you know, it's like, or single stroke, as I say. It's, it's like, you can't, I can't think of it that way, but that's how it kind of breaks down. So then the whole thing together is like, <laughs> okay, that's basically the main groove of the A section. That's how I conceive it. Then we have this for the B section. So um, that one to me is a kind of a hybrid of a songo and a partido alto. So here's like the, the skeleton of this groove that I just played. I'll play it in half time. Okay, that's like the skeletal rhythm of it. And if I play the thing in half time, Right? That's what it feels like half time. So if you look at the Perdita Alto feel in half time, that's kind of like this. Okay, that's my take on Perdita Alto. But the basic feel is like that. So on beat two, if we just displace the second 16th and last 16th of beat two, which I'm playing on the bass drum, and just like rhythmically change it to being the first 16th and last 16th of beat two, that shifts that pretty alto feel. Uh, Then you get rid of the downbeats of, of beat one. Three, four. <laughs> you know, so suddenly you get that outline that uh, Sunny Emery plays in this one. But at the same time, it also feels like Sango, which would normally be like this. Right? So it has that sort of sensibility as well at the same time. So it feels, I guess because of the driving, you know, uh, 
vibe on the ride cymbal. It just reminds me of a, of a songo. So it's kind of a mix between songo and perdita alto. That's kind of how I'm thinking of it at least. You know, like, and the bass drum part has been shifted to adopt this groove because like the bass line, he kind of plays in that songo feel when you check out the tune. So essentially, those are the, uh, the two main grooves in section A. And, um, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's Latin jazz in a sense, but it has a real funk framework to it. Because <laughs> of, uh, I guess because of what Sonny Emery likes to play maybe the most, I probably shouldn't assume that. <laughs> <laughs> but I've heard him play uh, such great drums in that funk world, although he's very capable in uh, Latin, or more than capable, you know, actually quite virtuosic in land jazz playing as well. So I hope you enjoyed this very short video on this little aspect of Sonny Emery's playing. Make sure to like this video if you like it and share it. Um, please go to my Patreon page. I started a Patreon page where you get all kinds of extra goodies. In fact, there's extra footage of this video where I delve into another section of the song that's in 6-8 time. So check that out. Uh, you can also reach me at aubreydrumlessons.com for more drumming info and schedule online lessons via Zoom. Don't hesitate to check that out. You can also DM me on Instagram, and um, I so look forward to my next video that I'll get to you, and I hope you all come back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Really glad you did that. Subscribe, and click here if you want more performance and lesson videos.